What's up everyone, Ronnie Chavez here to bring you a basic parkour tutorial on the safety rolls. Now I'm going to be doing three variations, the forward roll, the sideways roll, and the back roll. And I'm going to teach you how to learn these moves instinctively, because that's how it's going to be most useful to you. It's one thing to be able to know how to roll, but if you can ingrain it in your body and mind so that in any situation that you're falling or tripping, that you can roll instinctively, that's how it's going to be most useful to you to prevent injuries. So the safety roll has three main purposes. One, to prevent injury, two, to disperse impact from drops or other types of movements, and three, to create flow or transitions between movements. So let's get started with the first one, the forward basic parkour roll. So when you're getting started on the forward roll, you have to remember that this isn't a somersault. You're not rolling straight over your head and straight over your spine, especially if you end up rolling on hard surfaces that can cause damage and injure your spine or head or neck. So before learning this trick, make sure you have a safe environment to learn this in. You can learn in a gym with pads, or you can simply learn this move on grass or sand, whatever you have available to you. I wouldn't recommend learning this on concrete or other hard surfaces because it can cause bruises and other injuries if you're not fully prepared. So to start learning this roll, I want you to find that soft place, and now you're gonna go down on your knees, your hands and knees, so that you can be lower to the ground, because the lower to the ground you are, the less impact there will be on your body as you learn this move. And uh, there will be some trial and error in learning this move for you, because everyone's back is a little bit differently. People have different bones and structures that if you roll wrong, you'll feel it and you'll kind of bruise it a little bit. So just take it nice and slow so you can avoid that from happening. But you're gonna choose which side you feel most comfortable rolling over. Is it your right side? or left side. For me personally, it's my right side, but I have learned the rolls both ways, and I would recommend that you do the same as well once you've gotten comfortable with it rolling one way, then practice rolling the other way over each shoulder. So I'm gonna start with my right shoulder, rolling over my right shoulder, and in doing that, I'm gonna start with my right foot in front. And now, to go into this position, your hands can play a big role. They can help you control your motion going into the roll, as well as absorbing some of the impact but it's, the hands aren't always necessary. Sometimes you can do a scooping motion or other variations in learning this move. But for me right now, I'm gonna place my hands here on the ground at a slight 45 degree angle away from the direction I wanna be rolling. So this way it sets up my shoulder and back at a perfect angle to roll over my back at a diagonal angle. And so then ideally, as I go into the roll, I want to land on the back side of my shoulder blade. Um, even though it's a shoulder roll, you don't want to be hitting the top of your shoulder. Especially if you're doing big drops and you roll like that, you could potentially break your collarbone or just cause other injuries. So make sure that you're using your arms to kind of lift yourself up to land on this part of your back, the flat of your shoulder blade, and that way you'll avoid hitting the front of your shoulder into the ground. And so now, with my right foot here and my left foot back here, I'm going to use those to kind of push my hips up and drop my head and my head is actually gonna look over my left shoulder. I don't want it straight down because then I have the risk of hitting it into the ground. So I'm gonna look over to my left, push my hips up, and then at this point, you kinda just have to commit into the roll and focus on landing on that part of your shoulder blade and rolling diagonal across your back to your opposite hip. Now as I did that, not only did I use my hands to control my momentum, I also kind of rolled along my arm. So as you're coming up from the roll, you want to make sure you're coming up between your tailbone and your hip bone. Everyone also has a different back, so you just have to kind of find where the sweet spot is so you don't hit those bones. But ideally as you come up, I'm going to roll up and I actually use the side of my leg to kind of come up onto and place my hands. So as I go into the roll, Ideally, if I'm going to the right, I want to come up on my left side, so that means I'm going to drive my left foot in front. The other option you have for coming up out of the roll is instead of rolling along the side of your leg and coming up, you can actually drop your heel and just come straight up onto your feet. Now just be aware that's going to be a little bit more pressure on your knees and feet as you come up, but if that's how you want to pop up, it's definitely a possibility. But for the most part, I'd recommend coming up on the side of your leg and using your momentum to allow you to stand up to your feet. As you get comfortable doing the forward roll from the kneeling position, you can start coming up taller and taller and start getting comfortable there and just working your way up and progressing until you're doing it completely standing up. 
Once you feel comfortable with the technique of your roll, you can start progressing into rolling with momentum as well as with jumps. Now when doing jumps into the roll, make sure you keep your legs strong, flexed as you do a landing, and then just allow yourself, allow the momentum to push you into that roll and just go into the technique of the roll. Even if you have a proper forward roll mastered, it's still important to keep in mind that you can't just do giant drops. It still takes a lot of practice and you have to slowly work your way up and increase the strength in your legs. Because even though you can do the roll, it still requires a lot of strength in your legs to properly go into the roll to disperse the impact. All right, now let's go over the sideways roll. The sideways roll you're gonna use a lot less in your parkour training because it's not as smooth of a roll and really it's only meant to prevent injury if you're falling in a weird direction and sideways rolling is your only option. The sideways roll is similar to the forward roll in technique, only you have, instead of going diagonal from shoulder over to your hip, it's gonna be a lot more severe of an angle and it's kind of gonna depend on the angle you're falling at the way that you can roll. So I just practice sideways rolling in different ways so that you can get familiar with what it feels like so you know how to use it if you ever need it. But basically, if I'm falling sideways, ideally I'm going to want to still use my hands as much as possible to control myself going into the roll. And then from there, it's just finding the way I can create a rolling motion over my back so it's not just a solid impact. Just make sure that when you're doing the sideways roll, that you're still clearing your arm and landing at some point on your back. Because if your arm gets in the way, that's where you can break your arm, your shoulder, things like that. So you always want to just create as smooth of a rolling motion as possible, even if you're landing at weird, crazy angles. So now we're gonna move on to the backwards roll. Now when learning this move, I'd recommend that you just start in the exact same position that you learned the forward roll with. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna do the forward roll first to get that feeling because the backwards roll, you're gonna be rolling along that exact same line, the same direction on your back. And so if you get that feeling and end up in that spot, it'll be easy to just go back over the same direction. So what I'm gonna do, do the forward roll, feel where I'm at here, and then I'm gonna kind of go back over from my left hip to my right shoulder at, in that same direction. Now when first doing the back roll, you can just come back up onto your hands and knees because right now we're just trying to find where the best technique is rolling across your back. As you're coming over your back to roll up, you then want to put your arm or hands on the ground to give yourself a little bit of push up so you're not just laying out onto your belly. Once again, as you get comfortable with that move, you can start doing it a little bit faster and start trying to push up to landing on your feet. And when you feel comfortable, like it's not hurting and that you're not hitting your head, because again, you want to keep your head sideways like before, you can start doing it from standing taller and eventually with momentum and eventually with jumps. When you start doing the back roll with more momentum and more impact, I'd always try and get your feet underneath you and behind you to kind of help absorb your motion going into the back roll. Because otherwise, if you're going straight to your back from standing, it's just gonna cause a lot of impact. So make sure that you do as much as you can to try and absorb that with your feet. Now that you've learned the forward roll, the sideways roll, and the back roll, you can now start practicing those with all the different variations of jumping, momentum, landing at different angles. And so a couple different variations you can practice is one is just the straight falling reaction roll. So if I'm standing here and I still fall like a plank, I'm just gonna do my best to roll out of it. And again with this, take it slow at first and then work your way into doing it later and later. So there's how you do the three basic safety rolls. Remember to practice these often so that they can become more instinctive in your training. Even if you have them mastered, I would recommend that you still incorporate training them as often as you can because that's how it'll be most beneficial to you in preventing injuries in your parkour and freerunning training. So be sure to stay tuned for my tutorial next week which is going to be on the dive roll and then the week after that the 360 dive roll. And so to learn those moves, these safety rolls are the base moves you want to learn before learning the more advanced dive rolls. So be sure to subscribe to stay tuned for those tutorials I'll be releasing in the coming weeks. So, thanks for watching.